Okay, let's start at the beginning. The King of Wands. Wands are fire signs. These are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it also can stand for staying in integrity, uh, gleaning information. This can be a mentor that is showing you the way. It is right in the uh, current position, so you may be taking a class. You may be extending some kind of um, skill that you have, a building on that, or connecting with a mentor. So this kind of feels like a mentor. This is someone of great integrity that's action-oriented. Again, that's a fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But it also can, can stand for lighting a fire under your tuchus too, if that's what needs to be done. But staying in integrity while you're challenged, um, that's the king is also that way. He also can be very swift, very proud. So um, be careful if you're in a discussion with someone to turn down the ego space, um, Libra. Just take the information you need and leave what you don't. So it does look like someone of great importance is either lending a hand or or showing you the way could be a teacher, mentor, boss, some, some person of authority that you are getting information from. The Nine of Cups is here, and it does look like you have been organizing some things. It does look like um, not only money, but feelings um, and physical things. Um, feeling the emotions that you've kind of turned off for a while, it feels, Libra. Um so it also feels like you have turned off some of your emotions so they wouldn't get in the way of maybe a relationship or um, some kind of, it doesn't have to be a love relationship. It can be a family relationship, a boss relationship, some kind of relationship. It does look like you've turned down some of your own either needs or your emotions in order to deal with some things. And it's okay to turn them up a little when you're feeling, when you're feeling safer, Libra. And it does look like with these two hands, of God here, these two um, aces, that you are moving and shaking. You're ready to open your heart or at least change the way that you have been loving. And this ace of wands here is like action. That's bolts from the sky. Things kind of hit you from nowhere. So the queen of pentacles is here and it's right above the king. So you, um, it may, it feels like you may have had either some Passed with a queen of pentacles and a pentacles is a earth sign that's Capricorn Taurus Virgo. It could be a, a new person coming into your, your life, but queens, you know, um, this is the queen of money and the queen of physical things. So um, it could be taking a step into your integrity around money, speaking your truth around that, creating a little bit more, um, you know, releasing yourself from some financial burdens. But it is above here, so it does look like organizing um Organizing your physical things. For some of you, it may even mean traveling or moving. Um, doesn't look like it's right here, but it is across from kind of taking a look at things and figuring out what you want to do for your next step. So moving may be in, um, in the cards, shall we say. Uh, but the physical aspect, uh, it does feel like you're getting things together on the physical aspect. So it could be your health. Um, money, moving things physically out of your environment and making them a little bit more comfortable for you. Um, and also the Queen of Pentacles can stand for a woman. So uh, some of you may be um, dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It feels like speak your truth with love and kindness. It does feel like a change of some kind on relationship space. The lovers are in the line here, so it could be a past lover. And this doesn't necessarily have to be a woman. It can be a man as well. I don't like to go on genders, but this is um, someone that is pretty down to earth. It's somebody that's practical um, and she um, can get down to the nitty and the gritty, although it does look like she it can be very stoic and very, um, you know, little bit of expectations that are out of alignment is what it's feeling. But it does feel like you may have a conversation with a earth sign, man or woman, that uh, either is current lover, past lover, but it does feel like there are some growth there and releasing of some 
past anger. So um, not doesn't feel so much like you're getting back together with someone from the past, but just cleaning up some things from the past. So the Ace of Cups is just to the side here in the um, just recent past position. Cups are emotions. This can be the soulmate card as well. So you may have met your soulmate. You may be creating your soulmate or you may be um, getting deeper with the current soulmate that you are with. So it does look like some changes have happened around your heart. It does feel like you've made a shift in your heart if you haven't opened it up. Uh, for many Libras, they have kind of um, closed down their heart a little bit to get the job done, so to speak. And now it's time to allow yourself to have that love in your life if you don't have it. Um, you know, find equilibrium or balance in the current one that you have. And a lot of folks, mostly all signs, have gone through some relationship jive of, you know, either releasing it, creating it, um, or redoing it. So this is kind of an extension of what was happening last month, but it does feel like you are open and you're ready to receive Libra, um, your soulmate. This is the soulmate card, or at least um, ready to love. Um, if you have been guarding your heart or to love differently, if you are in a current relationship, being open to the ebb and flow of each individual relationship, you know, what worked in a last relationship may not work in the next one. So um, kind of redoing that love space for you, Libra. The lovers is here. So that also does validate that you are ready to open your heart and connect a little bit more either with your current lover or open your heart to create a lover or um, deepening the one that you have. But it is the main focus and it does look like you have really been focusing on, you know, paying your bills, getting your life together, getting your health together. I know Libra, you guys have been working on your health for um, some time now, some of you for years, some of you for months. Um, but it does look like that shift is not so much in the main focus and the heart space. The lovers is the main focus. But it does, the king is here and the queen is here. So that tells me it's time to really speak from your heart, speak from integrity, um, let go of the relationships that aren't working for you. And, you know, if this is a lover from the past that you've been just kind of Still trying to be friends, but it doesn't feel comfortable. Now is the time that it will either shift to release or um, shift to a little bit of healthier place. The Four of Swords is here, and it does look like you have been losing some sleep over all this um, love stuff and relationship stuff. This month is the focus on relationships. So, um, it could be the dynamics within your immediate family, mom, dad, sisters, brothers, uncles, grandkids, etc., etc. Um, but it does look like you might have been losing some sleep over some of this. But it also feels like you're getting a lot of messages from the other side while you're on the astral or while you're in your dream space. So I would suggest writing them down when you wake up. You don't have to look at it. Um, let it kind of sink in and marinate. Uh, so you don't miss the message. We get a lot of messages when we are sleeping. Um, even if it's, you know, a two second dream, we get a lot of messages from the other side um, answering um, our questions. And uh, sometimes our fears come out there as well. So I would suggest it feels like Libra that you're getting a lot of information from the astral. So I would suggest starting a um, dream diary or just have a piece of paper next to your bed. And if it's something you know, um, epiphany like, write it down, um, look at it a little later and see if maybe that answered some of your questions that you were pondering. But it does look like your creature comforts are being affected a bit. That's food, that's sleep, um, you know, just concentration. So it does feel like that's a little askew and um, will remain a little askew until some of, um, some of this work is done. 
And you are doing it, so don't give up the faith. Don't give up the faith, Libra. Um, Ace of Wands here. I'm feeling like something is just going to crack from the sky. It's going to be a total surprise. It feels like a positive surprise. But it does look like this Four of Pentacles this year. It will kind of put you into a little bit of a tailspin that you have to uh, regroup, kind of extricate yourself from a situation. Think about what you want. Think about how you want this information to benefit you or to even release if it's not if it's something that you're not interested in it is right across from the lovers so it may be someone expressing their love and desire for you that you never really thought of in that way or maybe you thought um that you didn't have a chance with that person or that you weren't in alignment but I, i'm feeling like um not that you that it was you're not good enough but it just felt like you never thought that this person um would be attracted to you and it does feel like a bit of an honoring a bit of an honoring but it does it's it does with this four of pentacles it does feel like it'll put you into a tailspin both these fours are here so it does look like a little bit of that overthinking air sign is attacking you this month so if you can you know run around the block do something physical get your heart rate up so you can get out of your head for a little bit and make some clearer decisions about your next step but it does look like some decisions will be coming up in october possibly into november um, that something's going to come crackling out of the sky where a decision on your part will be needed. But it does look like it is a expression of love or attraction. And it does feel um, that there is some mutuality in that. And it's just like, I don't know if you never thought you had a chance or, and it could be your husband or wife expressing to you, um, you know, their desire that, that you didn't really think that they were either that amorous or they wanted to to do something that you wanted to do but it does look like quite a surprise and you know the aces are the hands of god this is it's coming to you from the heavens and um when you have a wand that's fire that's action that's shocking stuff um so pay attention some um Something's going to come right out of the sky and it does look like it's a positive. It doesn't look like it's a negative. All these cards look like they're, they're um, moving towards a, a, a positive outcome. Even though death is here, four of swords is here. That is part of the journey of releasing. The next card we have here, oh, and the four of pentacles, sorry. Four of pentacles is really when you kind of isolate yourself, trying to... Um, Think about which direction you want to go, maybe holding on tightly to some old habits that maybe don't serve you and you really got to look at them before you move on. But it does look like a new way of dealing with love. It looks like a new way of partnership and of balance. Um, it does look like it's coming more and more into balance in that partnership. And if you're not in one, it does look like that you are creating one. So three of wands is here and that's kind of looking out over the horizon. It, it does indicate that you will have to wait a little bit um, and finish the healing energy before you move on to the next adventure. Uh, but it does look like taking your time, figuring things out, really look at the possibilities. Sorry, it's getting a little dark in here. Let me turn on this light. Um, Anyway, really looking at all of your possibilities, letting them be shown to you before you take that leap into this huge change. But, you know, two of these things, two of these cards here feel like you may be even physically moving, um, moving, you know, cleaning out a closet, um, finding a new place to live, doing some remodeling or something on your home or maybe, you know, plumbing issues, something that happened uh uh, that you weren't really aware of, but it does look like some changes in your home is going to happen as well, whether it's physically moving you to another place or just painting the hallway, something like that. But the three of wands, it does dictate that you need to wait a little bit, finish, finish releasing, look at the big picture. I'm also feeling some travel is in store over these holidays. If you're um, in the Western Hemisphere, um, our holidays are coming up and it does feel like there will be a little bit more motion, a little bit more travel having, um, being brought to you, um, could be last minute stuff, you know, it's that Ace of Wands here, um, but 
Three of Wands, this is also what's lighting up for me in this is that he's naked. This man is naked, so it does look like you've have to, had to cast off some uh, ideals, maybe illusions, and really look at things honestly and take it all the way down to the core aspect of it and to really heal yourself. But it does look like you have been healing yourself for quite a while. It could be on a physical level. There is a lot of orange happening in this reading. So it does feel like you're physically healing your body. The back is kind of lighting up. So for many of you, maybe your back, your hips, uh, something like that. But um, it does feel like yeah, a little bit more self-care is um, necessary before you can take that next big step into the adventure you are creating. The death card is here at the very top. Of course, that can mean physical death. There is a king of pentacles here. That is a um, earth sign. That's Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So there may be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that is ill that you are helping take care of. Uh, but for the most part, the death card is the ending. And you know, things must be destroyed before we build a new house. We have to destroy the old one. We have to let go of our preconceived ideas or expectations in order to take a leap of faith into the unknown and make some changes. We have to release um, a lot of those notions that don't work for us anymore. And that's what it's feeling like. It's just releasing um, the way of life um, that you have become accustomed to that hasn't really worked for you. So it does look like things are changing. Um, and it does look like you're taking a step into a little bit more of communication. I am feeling Libra. Sometimes you shut down when there is, um, a little bit of tumultuousness or some discussion, or instead of saying anything, you kind of back off and just let it kind of flow through you, which is not a bad thing to do, but it does look like, um, some of that is ending, that your words are ringing more and more true. And so have faith in what you have to say, whether you are, you know, doing some public speaking or just speaking to your spouse or your children. It does look like taking a step up into your communication and um, putting your wisdom out into the world is, is pretty pretty important, fairly important. It does feel like you have raised your intuition. Many of you may be working in the healing arts. So being true to your words and um, not being afraid to share your wisdom with others. Um, what you have to say has a lot of authority. This King of Pentacles, you know, the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, kind of stands for, you know, moving the energy, educating, putting out information and your own wisdom. So I think this is more about your own wisdom and sharing it with others, uh, whether it's at your job or uh, whether it's to your children or your next door neighbor, but it looks like your opinion is um, necessary and it's needed out in the world. You have a wonderful way of balancing your words and being being totally neutral and not kind of picking a side, but just being um, right down the middle and, and kind of balanced um, with your communication. And a lot of people need to hear from you. So don't be afraid to give your opinion. Um, the last card here is the Three of Cups. I love this card. This card, this is like rejoicing, getting together with like-mind people. These halos are lighting up for me too. So this may be uh, reconnecting with some spiritual folks that um, you used to do work with. It could be going back to church. It could be just having fun with your friends. But it does look like you need to take a little bit of time off from all this work you're doing and have a little fun. Go rejoice a little bit. And, you know, the cup not only do they hold alcohol, but they, they also hold um, all of our emotions and all of our fun and all of our bliss and joy. And that looks like it's time for you to embrace a little bit more of your bliss and your joy. You do a lot of things for other people. And now it's time to enjoy yourself a little bit. Libra, get out in the world and um, rebel, you know, um, but, but three of cups is usually getting together with, with like-minded people, friends, and rejoicing, just being frivolous a little bit because you've, you've done a lot of work on the half-twos for the last couple of months. 
So it's time for a little joy, a little bliss. Um, I'm going to throw these uh, chakra cards. I used these last month. I kind of like them. They're very colorful. So what additional messages do you have for Libra? All right. Use your instinct and completion. So it does look like things are coming to an end in some, some way. This does kind of look like the death card, but it does mean the ending of something. So you may be graduating from a program you've been working on for a long time. Um, you may be ending some friendships that haven't been working for you, but it does look like the endings that are coming could be roommate situations, could be your lease is up, but it does feel like endings um, are happening but it will propel you into your next bit of greatness. And these are things long overdue that needed to end and shift and move so you can really focus a little bit more on using your instinct, um, using your healing, and um, giving of yourself and your words. doesn't feel like your magic and um, it's kind of peaking right now. You know, this is the time of year. This is your time of year. So your... Um, psychic awareness, your intuition, your clairsentience, or just your emotions can be heightened right now. So trust your own judgment first and foremost and your instinct. If something feels funky, if it's off, if it feels off, most likely it is. Please trust yourself first and foremost over anyone else. 